of keeping the pressure on the defense and penetrating with the pass. They've gotten everything inside, and they've converted there. The Timberwolves trail. Now Morris. And Edwards puts up a deep three. And that comes off the assist by Morris. Edwards has got 26 points. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. Jackson against Morris. Here's Jokic. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And if you're a defender and you're leaning just a little bit, Jokic is going to take advantage of you. The first free throw is good. Jokic drops them both. When they get chances at the line, they make you pay. I mean, their free throws have helped maintain this lead. Pass to Reed. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Morris deciding where to go with it. And here's Edwards outside. And the Timberwolves in again from the shortest but toughest triple on the floor. Edwards making it happen. Pass to Brown. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. Takes it inside. Pass to Watson. Five to shoot. Here's Brown. Reed defending. Here's Holiday. Money from 17 feet out. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. And out of bounds. Denver will have it. Garza's checked in for Minnesota. Conley comes in for Morris. Caldwell Pope's checked in for the Nuggets. Here's Caldwell Pope. Jackson outside. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Outside, Anderson. Pass to Conley. Back to Anderson. Six to shoot. Here's Garza to tie it up. Gets the three to fall. And that ties it up. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for Denver. Over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. With the teardrop. That one doesn't drop. Conley with some nice D. Anderson against Jackson. Anderson passes to Conley. Reed sets a screen. To take the lead. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Even though Conley is older, he's still really fast. Using that speed well to draw the foul on the drive. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Gobert's checked in for Reed. Towns comes in for Garza. And McDaniels is subbed in for Anderson. Good on both. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. For Denver, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Down low. Here's Caldwell Pope. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Nice execution, especially in close. Caldwell Pope showing he's more than just a player that likes it on the perimeter. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. 
with the 10-footer. Good as the jump shot falls. Edwards got eight points in the quarter. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Pass to Murray. From outside the arc. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Conley against Jokic. Just five to shoot. Here's McDaniels. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got nine rebounds now. Murray finds Caldwell Pope. Porter with a screen on Gobert. Caldwell Pope with it. He's picked up by Conley. Gordon, the pass to Murray. Drills it from deep. Murray's got 29 points. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Outside McDaniels. Back to Edwards. Pass to Towns. There's the three. And another three for Minnesota. And in the big moments, Towns ups the ante, which allows him to knock down the important shots. Conley against Murray. Jokic with a screen on Conley. Murray deciding where to go with it. Jokic passes to Caldwell Pope. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Jokic has got six assists in the game. So reliable with the ball in his hands. Caldwell Pope wanted that shot, and he got it. Outside Edwards. Here's Gobert. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Murray. 16 left in the fourth quarter. Shoots. And again, it's Denver converting. Yeah, this game is not over when Jamal Murray is still able to play. Edwards against Caldwell Pope. 13 feet out. Edwards can't hit. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shoot. Outside Murray. Back to Jokic. Jokic muscles it down. Well, Jokic needed it, and he got it. And Minnesota calls time here. They're losing by five. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Chris Finch said to the team. He encourages guys to stick with it, saying, I don't care what the scoreboard says. If we can play hard, that's all that matters. We can be the stronger team. So that's what Coach is looking for. Allie, thank you. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. And so they foul intentionally. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for Denver. And they go to the intentional foul. First free throw is good. And that increases the lead to six. Jamal Murray at his size, the one impressive thing that stands out to me is that he will willingly go right at the defense. Some padding here on the free throw line. Some good work. Edwards against Jokic. The kick out to Conley. Here's the floater. Catch! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Captain Clutch, one of Conley's many monikers, appropriate here. Just wow. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. First one drops, and that increases the lead to six. And just not the guy you want shooting the ball from the free throw line against you. Caldwell Pope can more than hold his own. 
Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a seven-point game. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. They're down by seven. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Guys, what do you think? Too little, too late. Making a change won't save them now. Well, I'm going to use the cliche here. You can't take your timeouts with you, so they're going to use it. Here's Conley. A three off the inbound. Money! And now they trail by just four! Well, Conley can be a volume scorer from the arc. The defense can't let him just have those opportunities. Early into his night. But honestly, I don't know that they can come back no matter who's on the court. the first one and that puts him up five and so both free throws good and it's a six-point ball game yeah that'll ice it right there not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation the shot by towns no good it's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups, so maybe just a step too far. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here, and it's an eight-point ball game. And here's Conley. The three is up. Offline. So it's Denver picking up the win. Things were looking scary for them coming into tonight.